everybody and happy 1st of August. I am hoping to film and edit and publish this video all in one day, so as you're watching this, hopefully this will have been recorded today, if that makes sense. So um, today's video is going to be my July favourites and also a few thoughts about doing vloggers, so we'll get to that. Um, but firstly, I know it's like super cliche mariche, but how crazy is it that it is actually August? Like I know everybody always says that and it's like, oh, how is it, whatever. But I actually had to double check that my phone wasn't broken the other day when someone told me that it was like the 29th of July because I feel like July was about two days long. I actually do not know where July went. Um, so surprisingly, this month's favourites, considering that I feel like it was a two day month, are fairly broad. There's a lot of products that I really did enjoy using this month, which I'm going to go through. Um, but firstly, vloggist, the topic of vloggist. So I don't even know if that's how you say it. Do you say vloggist? I don't know. But I decided at maybe midnight last night that I may potentially do vloggist. And by that I mean a video every day during August. So let me know what you guys think. I'm putting this video live today in case it does happen, so we're on to a good start by doing one every day in August. Um, but what I will say is that I'm not going to totally stress myself out by doing one every single day, because I did that in May and I ended up getting really bogged down with it. I tried really hard, I think I missed maybe four days, um, but it really did stress me out, especially when I was travelling. So I'm going to try my hardest and hopefully you guys will enjoy lots of new videos this month. There's definitely going to be a lot more than usual. Um, so yeah, stick tight for vloggers, let me know what you think of the idea in the comments below if you um, think it's a good idea. But anyway, so as I mentioned I've got quite a lot of products to talk through for this month's favourites, so no more rambly intro, let's get started. My first favourite I need to mention first because otherwise I will totally forget to talk about it and it is my nails. So I had a shellac manicure done at the Aveda hair salon in Covent Garden three weeks ago and they are still chip free. My nails are perfectly chip free um, and I just absolutely adore this colour. I'm afraid I do not know what colour it is um, but you can see the colour there so if you were to go to the shellac store or the Aveda store you would probably recognise the colour. I think that they have just remained so beautifully glossy. Yes there's a little bit of growth but I've never had a manicure last this long before and I have been away, I have been gardening, I have been cooking and cleaning and all that jazz and my nails have remained looking really really lovely and the colour looks super with a tan so my nails and my manicure from the Aveda store in Covent Garden are my first monthly favourite. <laughs> my second favourite is fairly random but most definitely a favourite of this month and it is Shoes by Bowden. So this pair in particular I wore so much, you probably recognise them from my Instagrams, from my vlogs, from outfit videos and these are um, my leopard print and gold sandals from Bowden. I wore these so much this month in Mykonos, in Greece, in Croatia last month, um, and in the UK as well. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. They're so flattering, they are incredibly comfortable to wear, and I love them. Um, but also other shoes from Bowdoin I've been loving this month, so Bowdoin shoes in general has been a favourite. These I wore around Santorini, again, incredibly comfortable. These ones are just like famous on my Instagram, they're just so gorgeous. I love the little pom-poms. Um, incredibly comfortable. I've been wearing these since, when did I go to Sicily? Like April I think? I've just been wearing these for a really really long time and still I'm obsessed with them. And I decided to get a new pair recently and I picked up these. They are sandals again from Bowdoin, they've got like a rose gold back a bit here. They have a tie up detail which is going to go up my leg and a white um, strap here. So in general, Bowdoin sandals are my second favourite of July and I just couldn't pick a favourite pair. I love them so much. Next is another fairly random favourite and it is my Instax Mini 8 camera. I think I got this one um, in Costa Rica when I went back in January with Piz Buen, but I've recently been sent a couple more and I thought I would actually put them to use. So I've been taking this around with me everywhere, but 
but actually not yesterday but the day before at Charlie's birthday barbecue I left a load just hanging around the garden for people to take snaps and they took a lot of snaps so it's just so lovely to have all of these memories from Charlie's barbecue there's some really cute like action shots there's um, James doing the barbecue we've got one of my friends passed out upstairs um, a nice little selfie some of them are a little bit overexposed. There's just so many really, really lovely photos here and just such a fabulous way of remembering the day. So because this has created so many lovely memories for this month um, and there's a few random ones in there from previous previous days out, I thought I would include this in my favourites because it's quite retro, something quite nice about having physical photos and it's really brought a smile to my face um, and others' faces this month. So yes, my Instax camera. My next favourite is a book and this is the Lux Life book written by Fleur de Force, recently um, bought out by Fleur. I had the pleasure of getting to know Fleur when we went to Mykonos together earlier this month, a couple of weeks ago and she's just such a really genuinely lovely girl. We got along so well, we bonded over our sausage dogs and Fleur kindly sent me her book to have a flick through um, a couple of days ago and I have not been able to put this book down. I know there are so many books out there that kind of just tell you stuff you already know but in a slightly nicer way if that makes sense but this book is not like that. It is genuinely useful and it has so many ideas that you're like oh my god yeah that's so easy and just things like how to be a wonderful host at a dinner party and also things like Pinterest um, Pinterest style hacks and tips, things you can do creative wise. There are so many lovely ideas of things to do um, within this book. Also hairstyles, I'm going to try and create this, um, what's it called? low milkmaid braid. I'm going to try and create this on Saturday for a wedding that I'm going to. But out of all the YouTuber and blogger books that I have ever looked through, and I did actually write a blog post on beauty kind of YouTube books a little while ago reviewing a few so I'll leave that down below. But out of all of them this is by far the most useful and genuinely readable book and on top of that it's absolutely beautiful it's got a gorgeous rose gold binding it's a very satisfying size and weight and hardback it's just beautiful it's lovely to keep on your coffee table but also a really really lovely one to read so thank you for sending this to me Fleur I absolutely love it and if you guys would like to pick one up they are available now and I'll leave a link below to where you can buy it so that is favorite number three or four this next favourite is very luxurious and it is a new shampoo and conditioner from a brand called Show. And I've mentioned Show before, I think I included their hair oil in a favourites video probably a month or two ago and I still use and I'm obsessed with that oil. Um, but recently Show bought out a shampoo and conditioner. These are, I need to put it out there, very expensive. I think they're £28 each which is a heck of a lot for um, 200ml of shampoo and conditioner but they really are wonderful. So firstly, the packaging is gorgeous. You've got this beautiful sleek black um, case and then this gorgeous gold kind of um, glass effect lid, which is just absolutely beautiful. Like this could easily be a perfume or any stunning beauty product. It almost feels too luxurious to put in your shower, but there's no use in saving these things for best. You've got to actually get some use out of them. But this specifically is the repair range for um, damaged hair. And as my hair is coloured, it always needs any repairing that it can get. So I've been absolutely loving using this this month. The smell is out of this world. I think I mentioned that when I was talking about the oil. The smell is just so luxurious. It really does keep your hair beautifully scented, as though you're wearing like hair perfume for the rest of the day. Um, and it also leaves my hair really light. It doesn't feel like I've got any product in it at all. Um, I didn't put anything in it after shampooing. It just feels weightless, which I absolutely love that feeling. I've got lots of hair, I've got thick hair, so for it to feel weightless is just such a lovely feeling and it really does with the Show Beauty Sublime Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. So for that reason and the fact that it's just so darn luxurious, I had to include it in this month's favourites. Another hair related favourite this month is the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. Once again I'm not going to go into too much detail about the hair dryer because I have done a full video reviewing the hair dryer which I will leave down below. 
but since filming that video I have used this for another two weeks or so and I have really really been noticing the difference in my hair. It is very expensive, this hair dryer is £299 but I have to be totally honest and say that I do love it. It's super lightweight, it's just got all the functions that I need it to without going too crazy and the main thing for me is how it makes my hair feel. So my hair is, as I mentioned earlier, long and thick and often feels quite heavy and like weighed down and chunky in this kind of area but having used the dryer for I'd say about a month now and every time from the very first time that I dried it my hair just felt so soft, so light and just so weightless which is such a really lovely feeling for your hair obviously who doesn't want lovely soft weightless hair so this hair dryer the way that it has made my hair feel the ease and the enjoyability of use and the functionalities of this hair dryer are just ticking so many boxes for me yes it is super expensive but i personally absolutely love it as i said I've got loads of information about the hairdryer in my um, review video, so I'm going to leave that link down below and go and check that out if you'd like to see my full thoughts on the hairdryer and also I compare it to a £30 hairdryer, so one that's a tenth of the cost. So go and give that video a watch after this one if you'd like to know more about the Dyson. By the way, if you want to see how I created this hairstyle, I actually just filmed a video which hopefully is going live tomorrow, so check out tomorrow's video if you want to see how I created these curls and with what. I will leave it there because um, it's quite an exciting product that I use to create them. Next I have a skincare combination and I'm not going to talk about this too much because I have actually written an entire blog post on it but I will whiz through the product because my skin this month has just been going really well for me if that makes sense. I've not been having any irregularities, any bad skin days and I think my skincare routine is very much thanks to that and it is the La Prairie Cellular Ice Crystal Serum followed by the Dr. Seba Supreme Day Cream and then the Sarah Chapman Skinesis Skin Insurance SPF 30 these three have been a winning combination for me this month. My skin is utterly protected, as you'll know with these two in particular from my summer everyday makeup routine. You'll know about the protective properties of these. And then add to that the SPF 30 from the Sarah Chapman. Just such a wonderful combination. As I said, I wrote an entire blog post about these three, so I'll leave that linked down below. And then keeping on the theme of skincare, another favourite is the Hydrating Mist Toner from Trilogy. And I really fell out of love with using toner in my skincare routine. I think really it was just a step that I felt I could skip. So by being lazy, I just cut it out of my skincare routine and didn't use toner for a long time. But when I was kindly sent this by Trilogy, because it's a mist, you can just so easily do it. You literally just spray it on your face, no need to wash it off, no need for cotton pads. It takes a grand total of five seconds to get it out of the cupboard, spray, and then put it back in. So I have no excuse. By using this, my skin just feels fresh and like invigorated. It just feels moisturised but in a controlled way if that makes sense. I think toner is really good for balancing out the skin so what I said earlier about not having any irregularities with my skincare routine I think that's also, also I think that is also partially down to this. My final three favourites are all makeup related and first of all I have got the Clarence BB Skin Detox Fluid in SPF 25 and I used this, I think I used this in my everyday summer makeup routine video in which case I'll link it down below so you can watch me applying this but this has been the base that I've been reaching for for most of the month. It does have SPF 25 which adds additional SPF coverage um, to my Sarah Chapman which I've also been using but really it's how this leaves my skin that I have been obsessed with. I'm wearing it today so hopefully you like this makeup look but really it just leaves my skin with a beautiful glow it looks like skin which I love it doesn't look like you've caked on a load of makeup it feels wonderful you don't feel like you're wearing anything on your skin at all it feels beautifully natural and I've been applying this with a beauty blender sponge which just really sets it into your skin in a way that looks so flawless and beautiful so in the summer if you do want a really lovely light base that still offers enough coverage to conceal any imperfections then this is a really good one to go for. To set that base down and also add a very subtle highlight I've been using the Translucent Powder Duo from Bare Minerals. Now this is an absolutely stunning duo, it has this beautiful brush with it as well called the Jewel Finish Blush and Contour Brush, it's kind of double sided so you've got the white and the uh, dark side. And I've been using the matte powder to just mattify all over my face basically, specifically 
under the eye area and this brush is absolutely perfect for that. I find that by setting my concealer under my eyes it just ensures it doesn't go anywhere. But also you've got the glow powder here which as you can see has a beautiful marbled effect to it, very similar to the hourglass I might add. But this is just the most beautiful powder that mattifies the skin but without leaving it matte so you have a gorgeous shine you can see on my skin I'm not completely mattified but the oil is under control and that is all thanks to this powder I've been absolutely loving 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 using this this month and finally a really fun compact this one is from Stila and I knew as soon as I opened it up that I was going to absolutely love it I think this is probably definitely not the first Stila compact I've included in a favorites video I've had eyeshadow compacts that I've loved from them before but just Look at this one, so many beautiful products in here, you've got a couple of blush shades, a highlight shade and some gorgeous eyeshadow shades and I found myself reaching for this for so many reasons, both for the eyeshadow, for the highlights, for like brow bone and all the colours in here are just so stunning. This is probably the most usable and the most me palette that I've ever discovered so I've been getting a lot of use out of this this month. Again it's got that ginormous lid. Um, always say that mirror in the lid not lid in the mirror and it's very slim so very very portable and I've been using this a lot and it's just absolutely stunning I have nothing more to say about that so those are all of my favorite products from the month of July let me know in the comments below if you share any of these favorites have you tried any of these products have you read the book etc etc let me know what you have been loving throughout the month of July don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any vloggist videos as I said they're going to be coming really regularly this month so just hit the little red button if you want to make sure you do not miss any videos it's free it's easy and you'll be sure not to miss any of my videos if you enjoyed this one then please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous rest of your day bye